Caller on line one. Hello, uh. caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. Okay. Panics. I'm panicking now. Can I panic? Hello. Caller. Who is this? I need the police. No. Oh, I'm Forrest Nash. Nash. I, <clears throat> I'm standing in for 911 tonight. What, what's wrong? There's a guy hunting me and my friends. I, I think he's killed some of them already. Oh. That's him. Oh no. He's just outside. I can see him from up here. God damn it. She's just a kid. Okay. Where are you? Where are you? Are, are you somewhere safe? Oh my god. Oh my god. You stay with me, kid. Focus. I, I can't do this. Oh, that poor thing. Yes, you can. Focus. <coughs> Tell me. What's your name? He's happy been like, no, no. Sweetie, you can do it. What's your name? I'll answer it for her. Carrie. Let's see. Good, good. Carrie, listen to me. We're gonna get you out of there. All right? Now, where are you? The old okay. house. Upstairs. <clears throat> I'm at the end of a hall. Yeah. There's, there's a bathroom. I got a bedroom closet. Hey. Oh, he's coming. Where should I go? Uh, the closet. Go to the closet. Okay. Maybe. I'll... He's here. He's here. He's gonna kill me. Forrest, I don't think we can. Don't move. I don't like this. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh my gosh. Stupid kids. What? Stupid kids. What? Are you... Are you kidding me? Okay, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> oh, who's on the phone, Carrie? <laughs> the cops? It's just a joke. Jeez. Oh, my lord. Wait, isn't that... Jimmy, that wasn't funny, you sicko! Of course I called the cops. Oh, but, lord. But some guy just answered and said. What guy? Forrest Nash. What the hell are you all doing? It's prank night, old man. We're just having fun. That's the kid. The kid who called in earlier pretending to be the whistling man. That's it. I'm out of here. Gosh. You know he's really out there tonight, Jimmy, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> it's just whistling night, man. Oh, that little idiot. Whistling night? Oh, you lost one to something. Edition. Especially stupid since that one kid died back in... <sighs> Would you take off that stupid mask? Hard to breathe. Who's under there anyway? Hmm? Is that you, Seth? Idiot! Seth is right next to you. That's, uh. Uh. Wait. Oh, I'm, no. Uh, who, uh. Who are you? Oh, no, Ben! <laughs> Everyone, oh, get inside! Oh, oh holy shit. Oh no. Oh no. You barricade the back. As long as he's out there and we're in here, we're safe, right? You buy time, but not much. Forrest, we have to. Heather, I already called the cops. Forrest picked up. He's the best we're gonna get. Okay, um. Who is with you, Carrie? My friend, we drove out to the old murder house and. Of course! The van! Who's got the keys? Jimmy had them. Oh, Jimmy. no. Okay, okay. OK. 
okay, okay. It's gonna be good. Okay. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be okay. Yeah. Let's go. All right. All right. We'll figure something out. Between all of you, there's got to be a way to beat this. Just sit tight, okay? Heather, shut up. If we do that, we're gonna get killed. <clears throat> Jeannie? Jeannie McPherson? Our intern Jeannie? Yes. She's my best friend and the smartest one out of all of us. She stayed in tonight. Fourth, listen. Uh, we'll see what we can come up with and, uh... What? Scott, you're not any good at... And... No, no, Chad. Out of all of us, you're not the one to... Oh. Everything okay? No. We... Uh, we're figuring out a plan. But everyone's volunteering to do things they're just bad at. I think we can figure out what to do. But I don't okay. think we can agree on who should do what. Hey. I think you'll have to be the tiebreaker. Or else these idiots are gonna get us killed. But mm -hmm. I... Shut up, you... Oh, Boris, I'll call you back. But I don't know anything about your friends. Oh, no. <sighs> These damn kids never learn. Gosh. Uh... Breathe, Peggy. It's okay. okay. Uh, Maybe. They do this kind of thing every year, Forrest. People get hurt. All right, <clears throat> folks. We're gonna work out a way to save Carrie and her friends. This next one goes out to all the trap kids out there. Uh. 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 It's gonna be very funny, but like. Sure. It's funky, it's groovy, it's stabbing the twilight by knife and easy. Peggy. You mentioned something about their friend working here? An intern? Yeah, Jeannie. Seems a nice enough girl, but a bit head in the clouds, you know? Not sure why we took on an mm -hmm. intern. We really didn't have the office space for one. <clears throat> Poor thing got tucked away in a dark corner somewhere downstairs. Oh, All right, I'll go see if I can find her desk. Hopefully she has something we can use. <coughs> okay. This way. I guess I'm trying to get Peggy to the other door. Her desk is downstairs. Oh boy. Oh, yeah, at least now the bus can't be here, right? Okay, I'm charging. I have that where I'm walking. Uh, I think I went the wrong way. Let's go again. I don't see it up here. Or down here. He said the desk downstairs, but it's not down here. I wish I could win. Like, I need to go faster. I could wing it, but like. Hey, you find anything that'll help us out? What are we trying to do again? Carrie's <clears> great <throat> genie interns here. Go find her desk and see if there's anything that will help. Help with... Carrie and her friends have a plan for how to escape the whistling man. But they need us to pick who does what. So, find something that'll tell you about her friends. Okay, got it. Okay, uh... Bitch. She sat down still, so I... Keep it. I need something that has all the names on it, right? Uh, 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 
I saw that note from Bly, I might miss that. I'm gonna split it. Find her desk downstairs. Jeez. Oh. I really tucked Jeannie away. Friendship is. This might work. Is that? What was that? I don't like the sound of that. I know the kill is with those kids, but like, let me in. Okay, how does this work? Hey. Uh. Welcome back. You find anything this time? Yeah, yeah. I found a friendship yeah. quiz with all these kids on it. If you think that'll help, then good enough. Carrie's on line one, whenever you're ready. <laughs> Time to turn the music off. This is Forrest Nash, back again with an unlucky caller on this unlucky night. Carrie, are you there? Yes, we've got a plan, but we can't agree on who <laughs> should do what. You want me to be the tiebreaker? Exactly. I'm ready. <laughs> the no, first I'm step? Okay, first things first, we'll need a spotter. Someone who can keep an eye on the killer. We'll need someone on the peak peak it's gonna be a hard climb. Uh, hello. We're deciding between Heather, Kyle, and Hot David. Sounds like Heather. Here's the marks. It's got three. Yes, Heather. He picked you. Now please stop talking about all your cheerleading trophies. <laughs> Part two. The whistling man padlocked the gate back to the road. Uh, Before we drive out of here, we need someone to pick the lock. Seth, Jennifer, and Scott all want to do it. Uh. Winning in a horror movie. Most likely to end up in a car crash. Most likely to win an Oscar, pass the driving test without any hours, Jimmy. Oh, yeah. Uh, most likely to... Also, Jennifer, she would escape... Oh, sorry, my bad. She would escape... Prison? Right? Jennifer. Most likely. Jesus, Jennifer, you carry a bump key? <clears throat> Why didn't you say so earlier? <laughs> anyway, nice. that brings us to part three. Getting the van keys. Come I'll on, volunteer for this. I don't know Jimmy as well as you guys, so it'll probably be easier that way. Okay. That is part four. Flight is this is a very plan. I'm I'm impressed. Yeah, it's weirdly <coughs> easier to think when you're about to die. You're, you're doing interesting. great. Interesting. Yeah. What's the next part? You can't know. Four, we need someone to lead the whistling man away. Okay. For this one, we're trying to decide between who was it again? When was Hot David, Cynthia, and Scott. No, okay, so that could be Hot David or Heather. We'll go David. Hot David. Oh. <laughs> Boy. Yeah, you uh, you spend a lot of time running shirtless. Oh gosh. <laughs> you got what this, we Hot doing? David. Sweet. Okay, let's recap. We get the eyes on the roof. A runner distracts the killer while we grab the van keys and pick the lock on the gate. Now the tricky part. The getaway. Yeah. Ooh. What's the plan there? Well, we can't all outrun the whistling man. But he thinks we're just a bunch of stupid teens. So, let's use that against him. Part five. We trick the killer into a trap. Someone can pretend to be injured. Uh -huh. Who would make the most believable bait? Who you got? We got Lisa, Tammy, and Cynthia. Lisa, Tammy, and Cynthia. And what was it? He should love the kill. Uh. I'm so likely to end up in a car crash. Hang on. Uh. Okay, so pick one of these. Uh, we'll say. Oh, uh, we'll say Lisa. Lisa. I don't know. Whoa. You're right, Lisa. Having to smile at rude customers 
It's perfect practice. Oh, okay. That should take care of the killer. And yeah. then it's time to get out of here. I probably Finally, pretty toast, six, Cynthia, but it's okay. someone who could drive us through the woods and back to Gallows Creek alive. Who's our getaway driver? Should it be... Who have we got? Chad, Scott, Cynthia, oh, whatever. Forrest, you know what to do. Uh... Chad, I guess. Oh wait, but Scott would beat everyone. I guess Chad. Chad. Oh, perfect. Your go I don't know. I probably should have Scott. Sounds good. Talk to you in a sec. Good luck, Carrie. Okay. Uh. That actually sounded like a pretty good plan. I hope so. I hope you're right. I think I should have yeah, Scott. Yeah, let's What do I do now? Oh no. Uh, oh, the kids are back already. Oh. Find one again. No way. I was gonna hey, play music, but I was in. like, oh. We're coming to you live with a bunch of teams. Oh, I'm scared I made a bad a decision at some point. Listener discretion is advised. Are you <clears> ready, Carrie? We're good to go, Forrest. Good luck. And Godspeed. Oh, Got boy. this. Here we go, everyone. <laughs> You need keys, to get keys, the band get keys, keys. Get keys. His face is lying next to him for his. Oh God! Oh God! I guess. I guess. Focus. Breathe. 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 I think I was supposed to pick Thanks. Scott for the other. I'm stupid. Got him. It's up. Jennifer got the gate unlocked. And Hot David should be back any second. Oh, perfect. It's working. Working. You're doing great. Uh -huh. Focus. You got this. Last we part. got this. Next step, trap the killer. All right. Wait. Get into position. Everybody else, hide. Oh, I'm so scared. I'm terrified. Listen to this, this sounds terrifying. Oh my god, he went through the floor! Spotter! We need to climb down now! We gotta go! Come on. He's coming down! Yes! Heather! Quick, everyone to the van! Driver! Oh, me. most likely we end up in a car crash with Scott anyway, so no, I don't think I messed up. I don't think I did now. The damn gate swung shut. Huh? What? It won't stay open. I'll hold it. You drive through. Carrie! Uh, what was that? She's sacrificing now. herself, no! No, no, no. Okay. No, I hope we would by roll.
Oh my god. Please, no! No! Uh. Did I mess up? Carrie? <sighs> Oh, 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 Thank God you're okay. Can you get somewhere safe? <sighs> I can make it home. Okay, okay, good, good, good. Um. Thank you both for helping. If you hadn't, I... It was your plan, Carrie. And it was a great plan. Huh? Sorry. It was really all you, Carrie. Still, I need to get home. Breathe, Carrie. You're okay now. I'll call you when I'm <laughs> talk to you then. <laughs> you kids all stuck. That was a, oh boy. That was a lot. Our thoughts go out to Jimmy's parents in this awful time. For any kids listening in, mm -hmm. please stay inside and stay safe. Please. And parents, please. hug your kids extra tight tonight. Here's a song for the girl walking home in the dark. Except Jimmy. Yeah, this is like the other one. Hey, we had a call come in. Oh, we do have a call in. Horace Nash here. Listeners, we've got another <clears throat> caller live on 189.16, The Scream. What's on your mind, caller? Hey, Forrest. I just wanted to phone in and say that I think I speak for everyone when I say that you're providing a real service for Gallus Creek tonight. It's cool what you're doing, man. Well, I'm just doing my job, friend. Anyway, tell me about yourself. Yeah. What's your name? Are you keeping safe tonight? Yeah, man, I'm good, thanks. I'm at my roller rink trying to get everything Don't ready for the it. Harvest Festival tomorrow. I had a guy from Starling Security here earlier installing the Starling 4000 system, so I'm a little behind. As for my name, my friends call me Roller Ricky, and oh, I now Ricky. consider you a friend, my man. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, right, and... Thanks, We're friends friend. now, huh? Well, that's kind of you to say. Thanks. Yeah, man. Sounds like roller skating is more than just a job to you. So is this vocational? I wasn't always roller Ricky. Once upon a time, believe it or not, I used to go by just Ricky. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Back then, things were pretty rough. I used to roll <clears> with a bad crowd. Not all bad, but there was one guy. Anyway, uh, some bad stuff went down. I harbored a lot of guilt for a long time and turned to the bottle. I didn't really talk about it or, or even know how to talk. It's just how it was. That bottle took the best years of my life. Or so I thought. It's never too late, Roller Ricky. How did you turn things around? I joined a support group. I opened up about my problems. Sharing that burden just took so much weight off. It's a long story from there, but I found Roller Disco. I learned how to have fun again, cutting loose and making shapes. Now, whenever I get down, I get down. <laughs> I'm finally free from it all, man. It's important just to talk to somebody. Hey, That's man. The first step. Ain't that right, Max? Oh, it's the Dugo. Oh, hello, Max. Oh. Well, he certainly sounds like a good boy. No. Max is my emotional support dog. He's a rescue dog, but I always say he's the one that rescued me. The best dog a guy could ask for. Of course, the first thing I did was teach him how to skate. He's better than me now. Oh, Little bro. <laughs> Max can skate. Yeah, man. At first they said it couldn't be done, and then they said it shouldn't be done. But Maxie loves the rink, man. Is that another train, Maxie? Maxie loves trains, man. He's even got that special how to greet them. Yeah. Sounds like you two make a great pair. Uh, Maxie appreciates.
appreciates all the positivity you're throwing out, my man. You know, I'm actually hosting free skating lessons tomorrow at the festival. I think it's a great opportunity to give back to the community. Man, all this talk of skating has got me itching for a book. <laughs> Before I switch my radio off for the night, could I request a song for us? Something I can groove to, you know, something funky. It'll be me and Maxie's final boogie breakdown tonight. Then I think we'll take it down a little. I can do that. Thanks again for calling. You and Max, be safe now, okay? Bye, Maxie. Oh, you got it, man. Peace. Well, folks, this next one goes out to Roller Ricky and Max. Enjoy. Mm. Sure. You're gonna love this next round. <laughs> we'll go with that one. I really needed that call, you know, after everything. True. Yeah, I get that. You talked a bit much for my taste, but it is inspiring to hear somebody <clears throat> come back from the brink like that. Yeah, th that's what I meant. <sighs> you were thinking about <laughs> Max on skates, weren't you? <laughs> well, uh, would you look at that? Another caller on the line. Oh, what are the odds? Better take it. Hi. There we go. Hey, we're back with the color. Off okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Music Welcome off. Welcome back to 189.16. <laughs> off with the music. The scream. This is Forrest <laughs> Nash. How are you tonight, Collar? I'm doing okay. I made it home safe. Gary! Hey, I, I just wanted to thank you for doing what you could earlier. You know, even though we lost Jimmy and I don't know. Hey, it's okay. You were so brave earlier. You're safe now. I wanted to ask you why. True. Why he didn't. Why am I? Why what, Carrie? Why did he spare me? After what he did. Why let me go? Maybe he didn't kill you because he saw you as a victim. Maybe. But why would that stop him from killing me, too? After everything he did to- <laughs> These stupid hazing nights have to stop. <laughs> Carrie, you did so well tonight. Stay safe and rest. <laughs> Help is coming to Gallows Creek. Thanks. We just need to hold on. Thanks, Peggy. Nice. Hey, uh, Forrest? Uh, could I request a song? Of course, Carrie. What song? Any song by Blast Processor. And- Thank you. This next one goes out to Carrie. Oh, this one. You know, what Carrie just said has really got me thinking. About what? The whistling man left her alone. Why? There must be a reason. When it comes to masked whistling killers, I don't think a reason is a key part of their process. Not really. Well, Pins it's something to consider. I need to take a break. Maybe if you want to stretch your legs, now's the time. Just hit the Peggy button when you want to get back on air. <laughs> 